Yay! Hello! Welcome to our TikTok Live with Planoly. So excited for everyone to join today. We're going to give everyone a few minutes to join. It's our first TikTok Live, so bear with us. We're figuring it out as we go. Yay, welcome, welcome. While we are waiting to kind of kick it off, um, if everyone wants to share where they're joining us from, we'd love to know where you're tuning in from. Welcome, welcome. It's our first official live and we're gonna have Sydney joining us shortly. So we just invited her. Ooh, Houston, Texas, that's close. We are in Austin, Texas. It's finally a little bit like fall here, which is nice. It's like 70 degrees. Ohio, nice. So fun. And yes, we are figuring this out. So thanks for joining our first one. I'm sure it'll be a little bumpy, but that's okay. I've got lots of friends here helping me too, off the camera. <laughs> Florida, so fun. Welcome, welcome. Yay, it's so fun to see so many friends joining. Oh, another friend from Austin, yay! Okay, I think Sydney's gonna be joining us. We'll see if we can get this to go. She just recorded. Sydney, come hang out with me. <laughs> Hi! Hello! How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> How are you? Good, this is like our first live, so I feel like I'm trying to figure it out, but you're the pro, how are you? <laughs> Good, I love your little cactus background setup, so cute. <laughs> Thank you, we're in the office today, so we figured we'd take advantage of the planally pink and all of our fun decor in the office. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How, how are you, how is the new baby? Oh my gosh, she is so good. She has not been sleeping the past couple nights, so we've been having fun with that, but she's the cutest little thing, so I'm like, I feel like I can't really complain, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you're a rock star for doing a TikTok live with us and having a newborn, so I had to share that because I feel like that's just incredible. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Yay. Well, um, we're kind of letting a few more people join, but while we're waiting, um, I'll give everyone kind of my spiel about our new video planner. Um, so if you aren't familiar with Planoly, we are a social media content planner. Um, we plan for multiple channels, but our most recent channel is TikTok and we have a new video planner. So um, if you haven't checked it out yet, you can either download our app or go to Planoly.com and create an account, link your TikTok and start video planning. Um, and we'll talk through some of the features um, before we get started, Sydney, I know you've been kind of checking it out. What are some things that you really like about our video planner? So I... There you are. I couldn't hear you for a second. Can you hear me okay? Now I okay. can hear you. For a second, it cut out. Oh, no. Yeah, it like... Okay, perfect. Um... So I a lot of the obviously a lot of awesome stuff. I number my is um does port where you can you are put it up and type out your and come back and um create and on. That's my favorite feature. Okay. Uh, Sydney, I think for some reason yours is your sound is cutting in and out. I don't know. I'm seeing other people say that too. I don't know what's going on. We'll give it a second. Maybe it's just a glitch in the Wi-Fi and we can. What about now? It's still a little bit choppy. Hmm. Okay, try talking. Oh, yeah, she left, so maybe she will rejoin. 
rejoin us for a second. Sorry, you guys. Thanks for bearing with us. Try this again. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> yes. Okay. You sound better. I think. Okay. I'm like, yeah, technology sometimes. I know. I know. Okay. So tell us again, what, what do you like about the video planner? <laughs> so I obviously love everything about it, but I would say my favorite feature is um, the ideas portion where you can save the URL to like whatever TikTok um, that you're kind of wanting to draw inspiration for or use the audio link from. And then kind of type out your ideas and then come back maybe on a day where you're wanting to batch all your content or just on a filming day and you have all of your ideas in one place. That's probably by far my favorite feature. Yes, it's so great. And for those not familiar, you can actually, while you're scrolling TikTok, click share and share it to Planoly. And then it saves all of your ideas in our ideas manager. So that's what Sydney's talking about. And it, it really is a game changer for just like organizing all of your audio and video um, inspiration in one place. So that is awesome. But now I'm going to get to, I think what everyone is most excited about is to learn more about you, Sydney, and kind of just to get us started, like, how did you get started on TikTok? Kind of give us your story. Yeah, so super funny. I have been kind of like in the social media space since 2016. Um, when I was right out of high school, I got a job at a law firm. And while I was in college, and I was just kind of the youngest one in the office. So they were like, you can figure out Instagram, Facebook, all this stuff like that's, that's on you. And so kind of just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and just really kind of fell in love with it. And it, like a lot of family members and friends kind of started to like figure out that I was doing social media and we have a lot of like business owner friends and family members. And so I started taking over a lot of their accounts as well. And um, last about a year and a half ago, I decided to kind of like quit my job and start my own like agency and actually take on clients full time. And I thought, why not start marketing myself on TikTok? And I guess just the power of TikTok, I think within a week of starting my account, I had a wait list of people wanting to work with me. It was absolutely insane. And um, yeah, just from there, worked with a lot of amazing brands and did a lot of social media management. And in January of this year, I kind of totally pivoted my business. And now I'm mostly doing like content creation, um, UGC content, and also kind of like strategizing with brands instead of being the person like hands on posting stuff for them so I've kind of done a little bit of a shift but yeah that's my story that's incredible and you've grown so quickly on TikTok um, I'm curious what advice would you give someone who's like just starting and trying to figure out TikTok and how to grow yeah my biggest piece of advice would just be um, you want to be making content for your audience and I think that that's one of the reasons why like I was able to reach so many people was I wasn't sitting there making content that was maybe like complaining or being relatable to social media managers. I was making content that was relatable to the person who would want to use a social media manager, if that makes sense. And that's something that I see a lot on TikTok is um, people kind of struggling to make content for their audience and they're kind of making it more for them like selves. Um, but when you're doing it for your audience, that's how you're able to like hit that right side of the algorithm and just get all the right people on your page. And that's been the biggest thing for me. That's awesome. Um, and then kind of pivoting to video planner again, like as a social media manager, like how, how would you utilize video planner? What are some of the key things? I know you mentioned ideas manager, but other features or just other ways you would use Planoly's video planner. Yeah. So um, just being in like, the social media space too, and being somebody who creates like short form video content, Every single social media platform is utilizing this right now as well. So the ability with Planoly right now to be able to upload your video and have it schedule and go out to like YouTube Shorts, um, Pinterest, Instagram Reels, all of that stuff is super, super helpful um, because it's one of those things where you think it's like easy to take your video and post it, but it's also like the last thing on your to-do list every day. And I find it something that gets bumped back and bumped back and I just never end up doing it. 
So to be able to just upload it to Planoly and get notified to post it, like it just makes it so much easier. Um, so I would say that that's like a huge feature for social media managers too. Yes, the reminders are so great. And I'm sure this we're going to get this question. So I definitely want to address it around auto posting. We do not currently support auto posting for TikTok. It's definitely something we're looking into. But as Sydney mentioned, we have these awesome reminder notifications through the Planoly mobile app. So you can pick the date and time you want to schedule your content and then you'll get the push notification and you'll be able to click on it. And it's a pretty quick experience to just copy and paste everything over to TikTok. So you can still do all of your planning and drafting ahead of time and then just quickly post it from the app wherever, from wherever you are, which makes it super easy. So wanted to mention that for sure. Um, okay, well, I kind of forgot to mention this at the beginning, but we are kind of going back and forth. So Sydney, do you have any questions you want to Ask me just to dive in a little more on Video Planner. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I guess like how can clients and different teams and stuff kind of collaborate using Planoly and the new like features that come with Planoly? Yes. So we're always working on more, but some of the recent ones that we launched, we actually just launched the ability to invite team members to Planoly. So you can actually invite either another team member if you're working on the same brand together or um, a client to share kind of your Planoly account with you and they'll have their own login. They can come in and actually kind of look at content with you. So you could upload all of your content into Planoly, let them preview that content in Planoly. Same with drafting captions, things like that. You can draft it and then have someone else log in and review it. So we're kind of hoping to take out some of those like pre-scheduling steps. I know even from working with Sydney um, at Planoly, you know, she's having to send something to us via Google Drive. And then we're looking at the caption on like a screen recording. So I think this could be an awesome alternative to having to manage so many other tools, whether again, it's a team member or a client to really review that upcoming content. So um, that's probably my favorite new thing that we have available for people to collaborate because we know that can be such a challenge. No, that is awesome for like brand deals and stuff like that, where you do need that approval. Or if you're that social media manager wanting approval from the client, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Um, okay. My next question for you is um, talk to me a little bit about, I guess, just repurposing content, kind of how you think about repurposing content and why you think it's important. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, um, and again, this is something where you definitely want to make it a priority. And like I said at the beginning, it's something that can be kind of bumped back at the bottom of your to-do list. But it is important to understand that you shouldn't necessarily put like all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to a platform. Because at the end of the day, you're basically at the expense of an algorithm or an app that could literally just delete itself and be done. Um, so to kind of like branch out and have these other platforms that you're on is super important. And all of these platforms also have different audiences and different people you can reach. Um, so you can just kind of maximize the people you're speaking to in the community that you're building by doing that. And so my thought process is if you're making, if you're already spending the time making these TikTok videos, I feel like majority of people start with the TikTok videos and then pull it to other platforms just because TikTok was one of the first like platforms to kind of focus on this short form video content. But if you're already taking the time to do that, it does not take a lot of extra time to copy the link, download it without a watermark, upload it to Planoly and schedule it to these other platforms. But I posted one of my um, TikTok videos to YouTube Shorts the other day, and I'm just kind of starting to experiment with YouTube Shorts. And it got like 26,000 views, like first video posted. So it just kind of goes to show that that video didn't get 26,000 views on TikTok, and it did on YouTube Shorts. So just being able to maximize with that, experiment with the different platforms, and just reach different people. And again, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, too. So I think it's all super important. Yeah, that's great. And are you editing like the captions when you're posting them on different channels or anything about the video? Or are you just posting the exact same thing everywhere? So it depends on the video. Sometimes if I'm doing more of like a trending audio video where I'm trying to be like funny or something like that, I will actually screen record it on TikTok before I add any text. Um, because if I'm making it more TikTok oriented, talking about something on TikTok, but I also want to put it on Instagram, when I put it on Instagram, I'm going to be adding different texts, making it more Instagram appropriate. 
I do think that this is something that all the platforms are kind of moving towards. I don't think YouTube shorts is here yet, but definitely with Instagram and TikTok, you are at a little bit more of an advantage if you're using the text in the actual platforms for sure. Um, but I also have had a lot of success just pulling TikToks over and posting them as reels because again, that's extra time, extra steps. Um, but like I said, if it is something that I know, okay, this is how I talk on TikTok, but this is more Instagram, like lingo, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, I will screen record that and then take the extra step and add the text from Instagram. But it just depends on the video for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I think that's a, just helpful to hear because we do have a new feature in Planoly right now where once you upload your video for TikTok, you can actually customize it for other channels. So you upload it in our video planner, then there's a little toggle on the right hand side to customize it and you can customize it for each channel. And by customize right now, it's just the caption. So it's kind of good to hear that, you know, some in some cases you customize it, sometimes you may just post the same thing across all of your channels. But, um, you know, that flexibility, I think, in Video Planner kind of allows you to do both, which is great. 100%. 100%. And you're going to want to use, like, different hashtags and stuff for different platforms, too, because hashtags are very different and have very different uses amongst different platforms. So, yeah, being able to differentiate that is so important. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Um, cool. What, qu what other questions can I answer for you? Yeah. So what are other ways that social media managers can utilize Planoly and specifically like managing the video ideas through it? Yeah. Um, so I feel like we've already touched on the first one, which is the ideas manager, um, which again is one of my favorite features as well. So just to reiterate in case anyone joined after we talked about it. Um, basically, you can store all of your video and sound ideas that you get from TikTok into Planoly on the app and on our on our website. Um, so basically, what you do is when you're scrolling TikTok, you find a video you like, you click the share button, you find Planoly, um, and you can share the video, but you can also add a note on how you're planning to repurpose the content, how you might want to use that sound for your brand or business, which is super great so that when you do go back to the ideas manager in Planoly, you're not confused on why you saved it. Um, so I think this is just really helpful one to just help kind of organize. There's just so much great content out there and being able to organize that content in the ideas manager I've heard has been a game changer. And I think it's just so great to see everything in one place. So that's number one. And then number two, um, kind of the opposite. If you don't have the time to scroll TikTok and find all these great ideas, we actually also recently launched um, a weekly trending content ideas feature. So in the Planoly calendar, every Monday, um, our social team curates their top three recommended trends. So um, you'll see those trends, they're all linked to TikTok. And if we can find it, the Instagram Reels audio as well. And we give kind of an idea of how you could repurpose that for your own brand. So again, if you don't have the time to find the trends or figure out what you should be posting, um, this is a great way to kind of get some ideas, get some inspiration. And again, every single Monday, there's new trends. So they stay up to date. You can look at them each week. Um, this is something that does require a paid plan with Planoly. So just wanted to call that out. But another great way to really organize ideas, find ideas, um, and really just kind of get everything together in one place. For sure. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. So next question for you is just what are some of the ways you work through TikTok video ideas you have? Um, I know we've talked about ideas manager a ton, but just, I love to understand kind of all of your thought process around finding ideas and kind of how you think about that as it relates to your content. Yeah, for sure. So like you said, it takes a lot to scroll and find these ideas and that trend report is so awesome. And um, that's something that like I do with a lot of like my coaching clients and stuff too, is like find specific audios and stuff that will work for them or send them like trending ones. And honestly, a lot of people ask me like, how, how do I find these sounds? How do I do this? And it really does take sitting down and scrolling for like a long time to find them. So that's why I think a lot of people don't do it. Um, yeah. But I really will spend an hour on the treadmill every morning. And it's part of my morning routine where I'm on TikTok saving these sounds. And prior to just this whole ideas portion on Planoly, I was either texting audios to myself, um, messaging them 
between my two TikTok accounts to save them. <laughs> or I was copying the URL and putting it in my notes section on my phone. And I had no strategy with it. It was one of the three. I don't even know how which one like I would pick at any given moment. And so then I would sit down to like organize the sounds afterwards and they'd be in three different places. So the fact that it's all, again, in one place is awesome. And it helps me with my own like content creation as well, because when I go sit down to film a couple of videos or whatever, and I want to pick and choose which audios I'm going to use, I have them all right there as well. And yeah, it's just better, better to have things in one place instead of all over the place. Totally. Um, but yeah, that's kind of been my process. So like I said, it's, it's an hour a day of strategically, I am scrolling on the For You page, looking for ideas, looking for ways that people have executed things. And it's funny, you kind of have to put yourself in the thought process of like, I'm not scrolling for just like scrolling purposes. Like I have a reason why I'm doing this and I'm looking for ideas and all of this stuff. And it's crazy what you can come up with in that time period as well. Totally. And I'm seeing this question come up a lot in the comments. How do you kind of know something is a trend? Like what are some key indicators when you're scrolling that you're like, oh, I, I think I should flag this? Yeah, for sure. So I feel like this has changed a little bit on TikTok more recently because you'll have a sound that was trending a year ago, like re come back and be trending now. So people used to look at the number of videos associated with an audio and be like, oh my gosh, it's under 10,000. It's under 20,000. Like you should hop on it. And it's not necessarily the case anymore because we're seeing those audios come back and they might have already been used 500,000 times last year, but now it's trending again. And I think people are like turned off by that number, but again, it's trending right now. So the biggest thing you want to do is one thing I kind of look out for when I'm scrolling, if I notice a sound that I've seen more than once, I'll click on it and just scroll through the like first couple videos, probably like the first like 10 to 20. And I see when those were posted, if they've been posted within the past like couple of days, like I like to see it's the, the best thing when you see posted eight hours ago, posted two hours ago, like when you're in the actual day. Um, but if an audio has been a, used a lot and it says like two days, three days, four days, today, two hours ago, you know that it's trending. So that's kind of like my benchmark. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean how many times that video has or that audio has been used because it could be something that's literally on the rise like today and only has 500 videos. But tomorrow it's going to have 20,000. Um, so people need to stop looking at that number and just look how many times it's been used in the past couple of days, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's super helpful. Because yeah, I think I was always looking at, yeah, just total number and trying to see like, is it on the rise or not? So it's good to hear that there's some other ways to kind of look. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Nice. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and answer some audience questions in a minute. Um, before I jump to audience questions, I did want to answer... Um, or share that we have a coupon code for everyone that's on um, the live. So if you are new to Planoly or maybe you're on a free plan and you want to upgrade so you can access some of these great features, we have a 30% off annual plan coupon code right now. It is TIK TALK, T A L K, 30 um, for, yes, 30% off annual plan. So please try it out. Um, and Sydney, do you want to share really quickly, like, where people can find you, obviously they have your handle now for TikTok, but any other details on like some of the things you, you do that you could help with? Yeah, for sure. So obviously my username is Sydney on socials. Um, some things that I can help with. I have account audits available right now. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching in um, very like particular situations for certain clients. And most of the time I have one-on-ones available. I'm like thinking about bringing them back, but with the newborn and everything, we're, we're figuring out how to work that back into the calendar. Um, but yeah, I have some fun little services available. I also have a couple of like courses and also just PDFs um, that can help you guys out. And I am constantly posting videos and answering questions and stuff as well on my page. So if you guys have any questions, you can message me or leave a comment on a video and I'm happy to help out as well. Yay. Um, and again, I saw another question come through. The code 30% off Planoly Tick Talk. So T I K T A L K 30. 
Um, it's a mouthful. TikTok 30 um, for 30% off annual plans. And yes, please check out Sydney's content as well. We use her for inspiration at Planoly as well. She's got great um, content and gives you trends and things like that too. So definitely check her out. Um, I'm going to jump to questions. I have another phone that I'm using to like kind of look through all the questions that have come through the question box. So I'll try and answer as many of these as I can in the last couple minutes. Um, the first one is, can we schedule reels with Planoly? Um, the answer to that is yes. There are two ways to do it. Um, one is through our IG planner. So we do have our Instagram planner. That was kind of our original planner. Um, so if you are fully focused on Instagram, definitely check out Instagram planner. Um, and we have a reels planner within Instagram planner. Um, and you can add a cover photo. You can auto post all the things through Instagram planner. If you are more TikTok first or really trying to focus more on TikTok today, I would recommend video planner. You do upload your video for TikTok and then you can repurpose it for Instagram reels that way. So there's really two ways that you can use Planoly to plan your reels content. Um, okay, let's see. What else? Um, how do we make templates and presets? Sydney, I might kick this one to you first. Um, I'm curious like, kind of how you think about templates and presets when you're kind of filming and creating your content. Yeah, so it's not really something that I utilize a lot. I know that this is something that Instagram Reels has like recently rolled out. Um, and so it's kind of fun because if you find a video that you like how it was structured or set up, you can kind of click on like using the template and create your own version of that video in just an easier way instead of having to piece your clips together. Um, but yeah, this is really only something I feel like we're seeing on Instagram right now. It'd be interesting to see if it is rolled out kind of in different ways on different platforms um, because yeah, I think it's great taking inspiration from other videos and being able to put your own spin on it, but also just edit it a whole lot faster and get it posted a whole lot faster. Um, but yeah, definitely something new on Instagram. And like I said, I've, I played around with it a little bit and I think it's a really cool feature, but it'll be interesting to see where that goes when it comes to the other platforms too. Yes, totally agree. Um, and I do want to also mention we have uh, Planoly a content subscription. So it's not specific to video content, but we do have content templates. So if you're trying to focus on video content, um, I do recommend looking at our content templates. They're kind of a good complimentary product. So we know that you may still also be posting like static content on Instagram. So just carousel posts, images, things like that. So you can use our content templates to make all of that content really pretty really quickly. So then you can focus on the video content. And our, our subscription is a monthly subscription. It's just $13 a month. You get 30 templates as well as captions and hashtags. And our November subscription content launches next week, and we actually have four Reels cover templates included. So um, I know that's another big thing is those cover photos for the Reels to make those look really pretty and kind of match with your grid or just to make it clear what the content is. Um, so if you subscribe now, you'll get access to those um, content templates for the Reels covers next week. So I wanted to mention that as well. Awesome. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Another question for you, Sydney, related kind of to like editing. What what tools do you use to edit your videos before you upload them into Planoly? Yeah, so um, it just kind of depends on the particular video. If I am filming like more of a trending audio video, I am probably going to be filming that on TikTok. And then, like I said, I'm either going to screen record it or copy the link and take it to a website like SnapTick or musically down to remove the watermark. And then I'm gonna upload it to Planoly so I can share it to Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and Pinterest. Um, so that's kind of my process there with, again, more of those like TikTok audios where you're acting out a scenario or taking on like a point of view or something like that, just because it's easier to mouth out the audios, obviously, right in TikTok and just get it done with. If I'm doing more of like a talking video, or maybe I'm piecing together clips. Like I edited a video the other day where I was piecing together just like clips from my life to talk about being a content creator and traveling and working on the go and all of that stuff. I like to do that in CapCut. And then what's really easy with CapCut is I'll download the video. It'll be in my camera roll and I can easily put it on Planoly and distribute it to those different platforms. And then I can also pick different audios when I'm uploading them too pertaining to each um, 
platform as well. I can put different sounds and stuff to them. So I do love using CapCut. Um, like I said, most of the time with those audios ones, I'm on TikTok. I, but yeah, those are probably my two major things. Yeah, I love CapCut too. It's so easy to use. So, um, but I've also heard, you know, like the TikTok video editing stuff is pretty intuitive too and easy to use if you're just trying to do like a few quick things to your video for sure. Yeah. And with their new video editor, like it, it's gotten a whole lot easier too. So yes. all good things. <laughs> totally. Yay. Well, um, I think we are about out of time. So I want to say thank you again to everyone for joining um, again, make sure you follow Sydney. She's got great um, content and advice to share around all things TikTok and social media. And again, um, don't forget 30% off Planoly. Check out our new video planner for TikTok um, with 30% off code TikTok30. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. And Sydney, thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you. This was awesome. And thank you guys for all your amazing questions too. Yes, we did it. We did our first live. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh.